Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Let's jump right into our video and see what we can create. So today's project is going to be embellishing this um, acrylic pearl pour that I did uh, quite some time ago. And um, I'll put an iCard link up here at the top so that if you haven't viewed that video, you can uh, watch that if you'd like. And what I want to do is I want to preserve the other uh, gold around the edges and only put something here in the center. And I have been searching for just the right thing to use and I have not been able to find exactly what I wanted and um, I ran across a, a mandala coloring page of a wolf and I just love the design um, it's really cool it's one of those adult coloring book pages and um, this little guy is adorable I just love him he He's perfect for this. This is the actual page itself, but um, it is in a PDF form and it's too big. And so I wanted to make it a little bit smaller and I've been working with it, trying to get it to where I could convert it and put it onto either a water slide or a um, vinyl decal that I could um, print and cut with my Cricut. But uh, it just doesn't work well with a PDF or I haven't figured it out yet. So what I've done is I printed it on just regular copy paper and then I used these mica powders. Let me show you. Uh, this is from Mad Oils and this one is Harold's Purple Crayon and it is a luscious purple. I love this color. Let me show you. It's a nice, kind of shimmery color. Um, it didn't shimmer on the paper as much as it does when you use it in other products or in other ways, but I kind of like it just the way it is. And then I also use this Mad Oils Twilight, and it's kind of a uh, deeper blue see right there I love it and so I put the purple around the edges and did the blue in the center and then for the eyes I really wanted them to pop and stand out and then bring all that gold in around the edges so I used the mad oil gold finger and I'll show you what it looks like it's a really really rich gold so I just brushed it onto the paper and once I had it all on there, the colors that I liked, I used the um, clear matte spray paint by uh, Rust-Oleum. This is the 2X Ultra Coverage and I sprayed several layers on the front and then I also sprayed it uh, onto the back to seal the um, paper and to seal the mica powders. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to, to add this to this painting using um, Mod Podge and uh, I'm just going to put it onto the back of the printout and then I'm going to put it onto the, the canvas itself underneath and then I'm going to use um, polyacrylic varnish to seal it all together and bring that um, shine and, and uh, to protect the painting itself. So I'm just going to set my painting out of the way and I'm going to use my brush and I'm going to try to smooth this on as smooth as I can and make sure that I get these edges because that's one of the problem areas when um, attaching something uh, if you don't get your edges flat, then it leaves a, a place for your varnish or resin or whatever your sealer is 
to get beneath and um, cause your image to um, lift away from the canvas and sometimes it can really cause it to stick up and and not be flush with the surface of the canvas so I'm just smoothing it on and I want it to be heavy enough to be uh, tacky when I put it onto the canvas but not so thick that it ripples or leaves where you can, the brush marks where you can see on the top where it the uh, the glue is actually at Just smoothing this on. And I'm going all the way out past the edges to make sure that that I'm getting it coated really well. And this stuff dries so fast that I want to put a second layer over everything. And then to make sure that I have something for it to grab and attach to, I'm just putting some here in the center of the canvas. Sorry, I forgot it was off screen for y'all. But I'm just smoothing it on and uh, in the areas where I think the, um, the image is going to be. And uh, then I will go back and, if I need to, add some more around the edges if it doesn't uh, lay as flat as I want it to. We'll just speed it up a little bit right here. Okay. Now let's see if... I can get this on here right and you can see where I actually put the mod podge at and I want to make sure my image is straight my whole idea was that uh, it would appear that the wolf was looking out from or being surrounded by whatever your imagination would be on the <laughs> uh, that hole that appeared in the center of the painting where the pearl pour was at and now I'm just smoothing and making sure that I have no ripples underneath the uh, image itself and there's a little place right down here that I need to add a little bit to the edge and I'm going to check the rest of the edges and I'm sorry, um, I have had some kind of sinus stuff going on. So if I sound like Kermit the Frog, I feel pretty green right now. <laughs> right here is another spot. Because I mostly put uh, the Mod Podge just in the center. I knew I probably would have to add a little bit to the edges. Okay, so it's laying flat pretty good. Um, I could have trimmed this even closer than I did so that a lot of the white would not show, but I really like the, I really wanted the whole uh, image to be kind of separated from the black. I was afraid if I trimmed it right up to where all the black was at that it might not stand out as much. So this is with the light shining on it so I could show you all the different colors that are in the pour itself. It has those blues and purples underneath there and there's little ripples and cells of color that just pops through and it just kind of lets that wolf head just stand out 
and I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to make sure that there's um, no wet spots of or damp spots of glue underneath the image um, when I add the um, varnish to the top because it might cause it to uh, bow up if it's not completely dried. And I'm just making sure that it's completely flat. There's a little area right here that um, I could feel the um, Mod Podge beneath there. And I just want to make sure that it comes all the way out to the edge. A little bit more right here. And you can see how well this is sealed because I'm rubbing on the surface of the image pretty good and um, the uh, mica powders are not moving <laughs> so that's a really good sign that it is coated good and will retain those colors well the paper did not curl it did not buckle like uh, paper will do when you're putting glue on it so I feel like it's it's got a really good seal front and back on it. And I'm really loving this. It looks really cool. So we'll just let it dry for a little bit. And then we'll come back and we'll varnish it. And here we are. This has dried now. And I'm using the Minwax Polyacrylic. And this is uh, a gloss finish. It will really help bring those colors out. This is my Hake brush. I really like this brush. Um, it's great for using with, with this varnish. And it's easy to clean. And it is by far my favorite brush when applying uh, varnish to a surface. And it's going to look a little milky just to start with until that dries. And I am putting a really good coat on there. I'm going to put several coats on there because my idea is that um, I want the image to just blend in with the surface of the canvas and not feel like it's a separate piece. I don't want you to be able to see the edges of the image. Um, I just want it to blend right in to the canvas. Just like a, a water slide would do. I might could have printed this onto a water slide, but I would not have been able to um, move the image uh, or remove the background of the image. So it would have took a whole piece of the water slide paper and um, I don't know if y'all have priced water slide paper, but it is not a cheap commodity. So um, I don't like to waste it by using a whole sheet for one image that is going to print in the center um, and take up the whole page. So that was my reasoning as to why I printed it on a regular piece of paper and this was an experiment i wanted to see if this would work and i believe it's going to be just fine um, coating it with the matte spray paint with several layers of that uh, virtually took away that uh, paper quality and um, left me with a really nice image that I can use onto the surface of a painting.
and I like this so much I was thinking how cool would it look to put it onto a uh, tumbler <laughs> so that may be my next project I may try doing an image like this and put it on a tumbler so just gonna make sure that I get my sides um, got a little something right here I'm gonna try to get that off and um, when you're putting the varnish on you want to make sure to get the sides just simply because when you're brushing it from one side to the other you're gonna have little rundown drips and um, you want to smooth those out you don't want to have uh, areas where you because it will dry like that you'll actually be able to see the run of varnish that uh, was not smoothed out making sure the edges are smooth and I'm just working this varnish trying to get that really smooth texture and then I'm going to let it dry and then I'll come back and do several coats I'm not going to bore you all with that um, I'll come back and show you the finished product after it has dried okay I have put three uh, different coats of the varnish on here and have let it dry and here are the finished results look at that face that is just absolutely cool it has retained the depth of color and the paint and the micas and I think it just looks great really can see how the um, colors the mica colors blend in with the uh, blues and purples that are peeking through the gold and the black paint and that gold that is extreme sheen 24 karat from um, deco art and it is just it's a glorious gold <laughs> I love using it in my projects it's so pretty so I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please click like and share and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you can do that now and ring that bell you'll get notified when I upload future videos and any comments or questions you can leave them below I enjoy hearing your feedback and what you think about what I'm doing or answering any questions you may have and all of those things helps my channel grow and um, I can't even begin to tell you how much I appreciate that um, I like it that somebody out there likes what I'm doing and I so enjoy creating these things and this one right here has been um, a long time coming for the completion of the painting but it's just I was waiting for that perfect fit and I think my little buddy right here is the perfect fit for this painting and I really really like it you can still see even with the micas that are on there and um, all the clear spray that I put on there to seal it and then this varnish uh, he just has his own little personality and um, he brings this painting alive so I thank you for joining me and I just want to say I hope to see you in my next creative escapade. Bye-bye for now.